Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. This is Phoenix Draconis and this is K on Reviews. Now as you saw in the intro, today's review video is going to focus on Transformer Studio Series 86, number 21, Ultra Magnus, as he appears in Transformers the movie. And I have to say, <laughs> from the reviews I've seen already, this is going to be a big boy. Uh, now, just judging from the artwork on here, this is some awesome artwork in the uh the battle uh in the exodus from autobot city basically they're fighting their way to get out of there so you got this great artwork here on the front as well as on the side a close-up of ultra magnus and a much more larger variation of him and of course you also have his You know, his product shots of him in robot mode, vehicle mode, carrier mode, and, of course, him holding the Matrix. So uh, on this, you do see the big screen inspired scale of detail and backdrop. And it says Battle of Autobot City. And, of course, it does say in terms of the carrier, it says works with deluxe class figures. So... If you have any deluxe class that you want to have Ultra Magnus roll around in or roll out with, that would be the size to use. And of course, on the bottom, uh, the bottom over here, where my fingers at, it says Ultra Magnus leads defensive measures against the Decepticons invading Autobot City. And of course, you do see the backdrop over here on the bottom, uh, where it shows you know the Autobot shuttle ready to launch. So let's go ahead and take one final look Oops, at the at the front here. There we go. And of course, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get him opened up. And here we have Ultra Magnus, and uh, man, this guy is beefy. I mean, oh my god, they really took their cues from from the 1986 movie. Uh, now, what you see before you, in addition to the blaster that he normally carries, he also carries this little weapon that I think he had when him and some of the other Autobots crashed on the planet of junk. But you see a lot of blast effects. Even the antennae on his helmet were part of this. They weren't connected. So do be careful when handling this because you lose these small pieces like this, <laughs> it's done. So, but oh my God, man, this thing is... Wow. <laughs> uh, I'm, yeah, man, I am so damn floored. And that's that I've seen reviews of this thing. And I, just having it in hand, it's like, whoa. <laughs> oh, damn, man. I mean, look at this. This guy is so blipping beefy, man. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me... Lift this up just a bit so you can see his head sculpt here. And yeah, man, this is wow. I mean, check out that head sculpt here. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. That. That is so awesome. And if I do recall, he does have light piping, which 
Yep, there it is, man. There it is. Holy cow, man. That that is awesome. And yes, I do have a flashlight now. <laughs> but oh my god, man. I mean, wow. <laughs> I, I don't know what what to say this thing is so awesome and let me go ahead and zoom out so you can see this because he has the gimmick as you haven't already noticed ta-da he's got the matrix and I love how they had added paint details on this. That is so flippin' awesome. Now, people are saying, well, is that going to fit in his fingers? Well, if you remember in the first scene when he was first given the Matrix, he held it in his hands. That's how big he is. So, I mean, wow. <laughs> so, let me close this up. There we go. There. Snap that puppy back in there. Man, that that is awesome looking, I have to tell you. So now of course, you know, he does have his weaponry. You know, in addition to the matrix. And he has his blaster rifle right there. Very very nice. I really like that. In addition, he also has this particular weapon that uh, he used briefly when trying to repair the remains of the Autobot shuttle on the planet of junk. And he also has his missile launchers on the side of his shoulders and an assortment of blast effects, which I'm pretty sure I mentioned earlier. But of course, he also has the auto, the scene with the Autobot shuttle, and oh man, this thing is so big, he barely fits on there. That thing is so ginormous. Yeah, that's... Wow. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So, oh man. But let's go ahead and take a look at articulation here. Uh, now, of course, his head is on a type of ball joint swivel. Well, ball joint anyway. So it does come off. I'm going to try and snap that puppy back on. There we go. And he can turn 360. He can look up. He can look down. Look right look left be a little inquisitive huh uh his arms oh he's got a tight ass uh you know you know rotation does can go up this way he has doesn't have a muscle or i should say upper bicep rotation his arm can turn, or I should say bend, around 90 degrees. He does have, oof, wow, he does have wrist rotation. His hands do open up, as you see, and he can, like, like, come here. <laughs> you want a piece of, you want a piece of the big butt? That'll get any bigger. Uh, he does have waist rotation, which is very stiff on mine. Holy shit. Can kick up, can kick back, can bend at around 90 degrees. Has a awesome, well, almost awesome, you know, uh, ankle tilt. So right there, let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. Right there. So, yeah, man, that, sheesh, that thing, this thing is boss. 
but in addition he has uh, he does have a butt flap back here so when he kicks back you know that butt flap actually stops it he's got some really good multi detail on here uh, he's got that back detail let me try and zoom out just a bit so you all can see and let's go ahead and lower this a bit right there got some really good detail on there I cannot wait to transform this guy he is oh, like I said he is awesome so give me a moment to go ahead and put aside some uh, Put aside some of these blast effects so they don't go falling around because last thing I want to do is lose these. And I'll be right back and we'll start with transformation. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be transforming Ultra Magnus, just as I said I was going to do. Now, this is going to be long and extensive. And, uh, There'll be times where I may get a little frustrated. Now, uh, I have reviewed a few videos off of YouTube on how to transform him. The instructions, I want to say, are a little intuitive. But if I said that, I'd be lying out my ass. <laughs> uh Granted, they are, they are well illustrated, but you actually have to have hands-on. So, that is what we're going to do. So, one of the first things, and I did forget something, and that is the whole blow-up gimmick. And honestly, I'm pretty sure a lot of you have already seen it. So, me doing it is not going to make much of a difference. So, I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but... Um, so we're going to go ahead and start off with detaching the arms here. Now, if you don't have nails, that's going to be a little difficult. Now, of course, that being done, and now we're going to detach these deals here. Now, this is where the fun part really begins. Because now we're going to go ahead and take this front chest piece open that up and we're gonna go ahead and just lift this up and I'm gonna go ahead and this will be the top portion of his cap right here all right now at this point we're gonna go ahead and detach all this I'm gonna go ahead and just Open this up. Oh, okay. So we're going to go and just open this up, open this up, push these wheels down like so. There we go. Now, all we're going to do is just push this, and I'm going to go ahead and lift this up so you all can see what the hell I'm doing. Now, I'm go ahead Now at this point, go ahead go ahead and just push all this together. Uh, 
and okay for some reason this is just giving me shit all over the place go ahead and just lift that up You need to turn the head around so that way it's facing out like that. Gonna try and get sorry, lift this back up again. There. Try and get all this snapped in here. Oh damn it to hell. There we go, right there. And let's snap that. I'm going to take this portion, snap that in there. And now, all we got to do is take these wheels, push those out like that. And there we go. Now, we just go ahead and just lay that down. All right. Ooh. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and lower this down. We're going to go ahead and turn this around. At this point, we're going to go ahead and just lift this up, snap that in, push that there. And we're going to go ahead and start extending stuff. Oh my goodness. So, <clears throat> this, uh, they got this panel here that's going to go up front. Go ahead and snap this tab into that slot here, and that's going to lock these arms. Gonna do the other arm. And I'm just gonna fold everything out. Now this these arms as you heard earlier are very tight. So we're gonna lock this in right there. I'm go ahead and pull this tab or this tab here up front like that. Now there is a little tab right here that covers that up. So there isn't any gaps like so. And there's some tabs here, some slots here. We're just going to snap all that together. Now there is a little bit more. We got to go ahead and move these arms up like that and snap this in. That will take care of the hands. Once again, like so for those that did not see it. Now we got to do is just snap all this together. Yay. Ah, there we go. We need to snap that in there. Snap that in there. There we go. Hey, so far so good. All right, now 
this bed buckle here. We're going to go ahead and fold that out like that. And now we get to convert or transform the trailer. Now, before we do that, these wheels over here, we're going to fold these out. There we go. Now do the same on the other side. Like that. Now all we gotta do is just oh, before I forget, these legs need to be bent and fold it like that. See the difference? Now this took me a while and I had to go to a review video to do this because it was just really pissing me off. <laughs> now all we gotta do is just fold this. There we go. Now before we do anything further, I take this panel, fold that up, and then snap this in. Gonna do the same on the other side. So this little triangle here, fold that out and snap that in. Yay! Now you got these uh, two red panels. We're gonna fold those out and snap that in. Fold that out and snap that in. There we go. We're almost at the home stretch. Now, you got these two little deals, these notches. We're just going to go ahead and just snap that in. Wait, there we go. Snap that in. And snap that in. Make sure this is in there. And are we done? Yes, 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 yes. Alrighty. Okay. Now they did say these uh, the lux size cars will fit in there, so we'll put gold bug in. And there we go. There's gold bug riding inside Ultra Magnus, and get your head out of gutter. <laughs> okay. Now the last thing is putting these missile pods on the side. Oh, there it is. Uh, and putting that in there. And there we go. Yay. Now you can put him up here, like so. Right there. And there is. And there is Magnus. So, yeah, not bad. Especially once you, you know, are able to go ahead and transform it a couple of times. This took me a little bit longer. Uh, but as of this recording, you can tell I'm a lot calmer. <laughs> so, uh, let me go ahead and do a couple of comparisons with the Earthrise Magnus and the studio series. And here we have a side-by-side -side comparison of Earthrise Ultra Magnus and Studio Series Ultra Magnus. As you can tell, Studio Series just literally towers over Earthrise. And don't get me wrong, I like the way they tried to go ahead and do an earth based one you know based off of the uh i want to say loosely based off of the 86 movie and it was a good attempt i really liked it but i have to say the studio series just pretty much wins out i'm sorry <laughs> oh my goodness man so uh there he is, side by side, in robot mode, and we'll check him out in a moment, in vehicle.
All right, and here they both are in vehicle mode, and wow. I have to say, for as much as I love the, uh, the Earthrise version, it is time for a change. And that change is Studio Series. And uh, very, very much, you know, not only like, the original G1, but it is also tune accurate, and I really, really like that. Now, some people will say, oh, he's a little bit bulky here and there. Honestly, I do not see it. I understand the bulk, but let's face it, Ultra Magnus was a, or is, a very bulky individual. He's a very bulky bot, and uh, wow. And the fact that you know, printed instead of doing the whole you know white prime thing like they did with Earth with Earthrise and the original G one, they just made him into one unique, just like in the tune, just right there. So yeah, I really like that. So uh, let me go ahead and get these two uh, put aside, get uh, Studio Series Magnus transformed back into robot mode, and I will come back with my final thoughts as well as my score. All right, folks, thank you for waiting. I appreciate your patience. And here is Magnus back in his robot mode, and wow. I'm still floored by how this figure looks. I mean, I am, I am deeply, deeply, you know, wow. <laughs> I'm in awe, okay? Let's, let's just put it that way. I am in so much fucking awe of this figure, both in his vehicle mode as well as his robot mode. Uh, the gimmicks that he's got on him, uh, the you know, the one thing that we had been wanting from an Ultra Magnus is to be a car carrier, and we were able to get that, especially with this type of uh, you know Studio Series figure. I mean, it is fucking awesome, man! I swear to God, and uh, man, so. I have to say though, um, unless you've transformed it a few times, the transformation is not going to be as smooth, especially for first timers uh, that get this uh, this figure. Um, I would advise, in addition to looking over the instructions carefully, I would also advise in watching a couple of videos. You know, such as Prime versus Prime, Chefatron, Imgo. Uh, I don't know if Patriot Prime's got him, but you know, he's another one that. Uh, also, Thu. You know, he's another YouTuber that also, you know. You know, partakes on the big bots. So, yeah, I mean, look at them. Look at how they transform them. And just be mindful. Now, I think I did mention this earlier. He does come with a lot of blast effects, as you will see here in this baggie that I put him in. He also comes with two blast or a blaster as well as his rifle. But inside the paper, uh, the paper covering that these came in, his antenna are in there loose. You'll have to put those on there. So just be mindful. Do not lose those because at that point, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but, uh, man. Now, I wound up being lucky and I was able to pre-order this through Hasbro Pulse. I don't think it's out in the wild as of yet. But, let me, let me go ahead and at least give you my score. So, on a scale of 1 through 10, I'm going to give them a 9. Uh, like I said, the transformation is not as intuitive as I thought it would be. So you will have to go ahead and take it slow. And if you're a reviewer like me, 
uh, you know, just, you know, if, if it's not making sense in the instructions, look at the videos, you know, and that way, just take it slow into transformation. That's all I say. That's all I have to ask on that. Uh, that way, you know, that way you don't wind up breaking your toy and whatnot. Now, uh, now it does have that uh, that blow up gimmick, like in that scene where Galvatron, Cyclonus, and the sweeps wind up destroying Ultra Magnus. So he blew up. He was in a million pieces, and they fixed him up. The Junkions. Uh, but I honestly, I'm pretty sure everyone has seen that gimmick. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> uh, I, I kind of lost patience in the course of this, uh, course of making this video. And that was due to my unfamiliarity with the transformation and whatnot. So, so in this case, that's one of the reasons why I gave him a nine. Otherwise, he would be a perfect 10, but it's some of those issues that I have to work out with. But nonetheless, that is my score. He is getting a 9. But I'd like to hear from you. Have you been able to pick this figure up? Now, as I stated earlier, he is available, I do believe, through Hasbro Pulse. If he is still available, I will put a link in the description below. But once again... Were you able to find them? And if so, did you like them? Did you hate them? Put, uh, leave me a comment about it in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. Click on to the bell icon so you can be notified when I post up new videos. As always, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for liking, sharing, subscribing, even leaving a comment or two. I really appreciate it, and it does help out my channel. Now, one more thing before I go, and I have mentioned this over the course of the past few videos. I would, I do have a stretch goal that I want to meet by the end of the year. I want us to have at least 500 subscribers before December 31st. Now, if we do meet that goal, I do want to have a giveaway as a thank you. However, I'm not exactly sure what to give away, so I'm going to need your help. So between now and November 30th, I want you all to go ahead and basically send me suggestions. So on the screen, you're going to see the email address to send such uh, suggestions to. In the subject, put down giveaway. In the body, put down your suggestion. Just a suggestion. Don't put anything else. Now, this is limited to one per viewer, one per one per person. And the deadline to send in your suggestions is going to be November 30th. After that, then we'll go ahead and see what happens at that point. This is Phoenix Draconis, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace.